Welcome to the introduction to chemical kinetics. So in chemical kinetics, we're going to be interested in some similar things that we discussed in thermodynamics, but there's a little bit of a contrast in the focus. So similarly here, we'll have some set of initial conditions. We'll have a set of final conditions, and there will be some chemical or physical process which occurs uh, connecting this initial system of state to the final system state. There will be some physical quantities that we can measure along the way, but here is the difference in focus between kinetics and thermodynamics. So thermodynamics, we were interested in things like what can happen, so using quantities like internal energy, enthalpy, entropy, Gibbs energy. We're looking at what can happen for processes that occur in closed systems, open systems, isolated systems, during physical processes like chemical reactions, solution mixing, uh, those kinds of things. Uh, tells us what can happen, what is allowed to happen according to the three laws of thermodynamics, and allows us to predict what are the equilibrium values that result. So going from the initial to the final conditions, we can tell what the final conditions are based off of how various thermodynamic quantities change during that process. Alternatively, kinetics is much more interested in what's happening during the process. So kinetics is going to tell us things like how fast does a chemical reaction occur and what factors control the rate by which that occurs. So we're going to look at start looking at uh, the kinetic theory of gases. So looking at what is the average kinetic energy and velocity of molecules and gases and how are those distributed. Things like how far do gases travel before colliding with another gas, how many gas collisions occur over a specific period of time. Then on to reaction rates. Things like how fast does a reaction occur, what determines how fast those reactions occur, how can we control that, how can we make it faster, slower, and uh, what, are, what are all the factors that affect the speed of how these reactions occur. And then finally looking at reaction mechanisms, which are the chemical individual chemical steps by which chemical reactions occur. So looking at the rate laws for these individual steps, how do we get what is going to occur for an entire uh, chemical reaction that occurs as a net of all of those individual reactions using some special cases and uh, looking at some special examples of g unique results in uh, chemical reaction mechanisms which are very common uh, both in physical chemistry and also in biochemistry. So that's what's in store for these uh, three chapters of kinetics using a lot of the ideas about we've, that we've learned during thermodynamics but now looking at the time scales and the factors that occur how fast these processes occur.